Hello guys, we are back in the gem editor of Man of War Assault Squad 2. And today we will be scripting endless waves so that you can enjoy the gem editor just as much as I do and create some cinematic battles as I have featured on my channel. The first step is we are going to go into F3 mode and we are going to place down some units in entities mode. And once you place down those units, we will go into the properties for those units Make sure that control is on AI, fire mode is on open, move mode is on free, AI move is on enable, and you want the player to be obviously the Germans in this scenario. And now we will look at the tags. And as you can see, we have the AI half track and also we have the hidden tag, which is very important to have. And we'll just look at the other units. Uh, the next unit we have is going to have the half track tag and a hidden tag as well. And then we have a stug tag and a hidden tag. And then we have the panzer IV in a hidden tag, so it's very easy to find. And then you want to select all of the infantry and tag. And I put obviously German rifle squad in the hidden tag. So now what you want to do is make sure on the infantry, in this case, I'm going to put their fixed inventory. And later on, we will put the Nova tree, but you know, just have the fixed inventory for now. You would you want to save at this point in time. Now we're going to go to waypoints. So you're going to add a waypoint and I just put attack main. As you can see, I've already put the waypoints on the map. Um, so I'm going to guide you through exactly what you need to do for these waypoints. So at the first waypoint, what you're going to do is you're going to select that first waypoint. You're going to put an actor state command. And in that actor state command, we are going to add certain properties. So you're going to select the waypoint as the source, which basically selects that unit. Um, and then you're going to put fire mode open move mode free, uh, AI move um, enable, and speed is going to be assault mode. Um, and then also for this case, I'm just going to put the no retreat on just so that the units have a clear direction of travel and don't retreat from the battle um, or stay put really. I mean, they can stay put, but uh, you get the idea. So next, you're going to go to the other waypoint and you're going to put the same exact thing. So now, uh, just to pay attention here, the second waypoint that you put, or those the other, I guess, linked waypoints, those actually make a difference to when the AI actually stops and decides to go in their other directions. Because if you put those waypoints out far, um, they will travel all the way there and ignore um, all the fire. Um, so another thing you need to know is the, on the map borders and where you're placing those waypoints, make sure that the waypoints are not too far back because then the units will get stuck in the back fog. Uh, just make sure that you adjust those map borders accordingly. Uh, so the next step, we're going to go to triggers. And as you can see, I've already laid it out here. So you're going to add a trigger. Um, in this case, I just named it attack and put it under German advanced. So the first thing you're going to do is add a delay of 15 seconds or whatever you like. Uh, it's going to be outside of the loop. Then you're going to add a loop. And this is really important here. You're going to add inside that loop. And make sure that you do that because that's very important. Now you're going to look at the actor to waypoint. And you're going to go to the selector. You're going to add the appropriate tag. In this case, it's the Panzer IV. Make sure you put the waypoint you want. Then make sure the clone is on and approach is teleport and rotate in this case. Um, then you're, I just added another one and I get put at the other waypoint. I get put a delay of five seconds just to space it out. And then I'm going to add the German infantry, another delay. Then another German infantry squad and then a delay of 10 seconds and have the half tracks come in at each of the waypoints. Um, then you're going to add a delay of a larger amount of seconds. And what this is going to do is basically determine how long it is in between those waves. So that's really important, that last delay. All right, so we're all done with the triggers. So now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you save at this point. 
Uh, it's very important. Make sure you save the triggers. And I also like to go to the entities and save as well, just to be sure. So now we're done, guys. Uh, now we're going to see what we've created. Um, I'm going to go to F1 mode. Uh, it doesn't really matter what, you know, what player you're on right now. <clears throat> just as long as you're in F1 mode. Uh, you're going to control command shift D, I believe, to turn the HUD off. Then you're going to press start. And here we go. So also get turn clip camera position off just because it gives us a better view of the battle here. Um, in 10 seconds or whatever, 15 seconds, they should spawn. And as you can see, both the tank and the half jack have spawned appropriately. And when they reach that first waypoint, they will head in their own directions. And as you can see on the right side, the infantry immediately spread out as soon as they hit that first waypoint. Now we see that the other half jacks are following behind and everything has gone really well here. It's gone exactly the way we wanted to and we're having our own little cinematic battle here. So, you know, you guys, we're gonna watch a little bit and see what happens just to give you guys a little uh you know a little benefit at the end of the video just a little perk of watching this video you get to watch this battle um so you know i think this is a really easy way of doing it i mean loop is really the easiest way i've thought of um and also don't forget that we did put that 50 second delay and in a second we should see the other group of units spawning and I think you can hear it yep um, there's the second group of units coming in 50 seconds later so it's all about spacing out those last delays and that really determines the pacing of your battle and if you want to put retreat or let your units uh, advance in a certain way you know you can also fiddle around with that so I think that is it for today guys I'm really glad you stuck around and watched this video. I hope to bring you more tutorials like this, and I'll see you all next time.